Guys, I got my first Charmed Aroma candle. It's all the way back there. It's Velvet Peach, and this is the first Charmed Aroma candle I've ever got. I am so curious to see what the jewelry is that's inside. I'm like giddy like a child. I can't wait until it's burnt out so I can see what I got. I don't even remember if I got a ring or a necklace or whatever, but I'm super excited. Let me know if you guys have ever had a Charmed Aroma candle and if you were happy with it, because this is my first one ever. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my impressions of all of the Victoria's Secret body sprays. All of them. I got I got all of the permanent collection. I also got some limited edition ones, but I just checked the website and the limited edition ones are gone. So I'm not gonna talk about those today. I'm only gonna talk about the six that are in their standard collection. I'm also sipping on some ginger peach tea. I made myself a nice big teapot here, so I'm drinking my tea. This is the Stash Ginger Peach. It's so good. It's like a little bit spicy. It's the green tea. Oh my God, it's my favorite. So yeah. Also on my tray are all of the Victoria's Secret body sprays, so we'll go through them one by one. I'll let you guys know what each one smells like, whether I really like it or not. I'll let you guys know my favorites at the very end, and we're just gonna kind of keep it fast paced because they are not the most complex scents. I don't really need to go too, too in depth, but I just wanna give you guys the, an idea of how they smell, what the longevity is, and whether it's worth buying them or not. So the very first one that I wanna start with is called Bare Vanilla, and I got the La Creme version. This one's just a little bit creamier than the original. I wanted it to be creamy because I like creaminess with my vanillas. So I should say that I did wear all of them on the skin. I've dedicated a full day to all of them. Some of them I've worn more than once if I really like them. And the Bare Vanilla is really nice. It's very toasty. It's a really nice, warm, cozy vanilla. It almost smells like it might have like a little bit of brown sugar in there. It's very sensual. There's, I think, an, a note of orchid. So it's not floral. It is predominantly just vanilla. So think of like a really delicious baking like vanilla extract. Like when you put that into your cake dough, kind of like that smell with that sugar. It's not cakey, it's not pasty, it's really yummy. Like a really nice, creamy, delicious vanilla. Longevity is not bad. This is one of the better performing ones. I really like this one. So this one I think is like an everyday wearing sensual vanilla, especially for people that love vanilla. Like I'm not really a vanilla person. I do like this one because it's so toasty and cozy. The vanilla note in here actually reminded me of what I smelled in Changing Constance, which is a Penhaligon's expensive fragrance that I've been wearing a lot lately. This one does smell a little bit more bougie, so I really like this one. The next one we have is Aqua Kiss. Aqua Kiss smells like what you would imagine. It's an aquatic, fresh, watery fragrance. It's very bright. It has a smell of daisy in there. It's, uh, you know, what it reminds me of is if you took MAC Turquatic, but then you mixed it with like those typical like Calgon body sprays from like the 90s and the 2000s. Like this one's not very expensive smelling. It is very generic smelling and the longevity is very poor. I sprayed it on myself. I sprayed it all over my body just now. I moisturized. I came out of the shower. I sprayed it 15 minutes ago and guys, it's gone. It is gone. So this one is definitely not worth it. It's a nice fresh scent, really generic not very expensive smelling and incredibly, incredibly poor longevity. So, nope. Then we have Pure Seduction. This one is sexy like its name. This one I actually really do like. It's very sweet and it's exactly what you would imagine like a Victoria's Secret store smells like. It's playful, it's flirty, it's sweet. It has a sweet note of plum. It reminds me of something else that I've smelled recently. Like a very, very sweet, plummy fragrance. Really yummy, very sexy, a little bit stripper vibes, but not in a bad way. This one I really like. So of the three that I've mentioned just now, I think this one's probably the one that I like the best, but it is a very girly, young smelling fragrance. Like there's something creamy and very flirty and sexy in these Victoria's Secret fragrances. So even though they're just a body spray, they're just kind of a spray and go, nothing expensive, nothing fancy, they've got a little je ne sais quoi about them. Well, some of them do. Now, the next one we have is Velvet Petals. And this one I had before and I had given it to someone as a gift, so I didn't remember what it smelled like, so I had to repurchase it. 
This one is a lot softer than the Pure Seduction. This one has an almondy vibe and it's it's a little bit sweet. It smells more more bougie than the Pure Seduction. Like this is not as strippery. It's a little bit more like classy, if you will. It's very smooth. It's a little bit nutty, a little bit sweet, creamy, really pretty, but longevity is poor. So Pure Seduction, I actually get really good longevity, the one that I mentioned just previous to this. This one's not very good. This one, 30 minutes. The Pure Seduction, like they're all body sprays, right? So they're not gonna last very long, but some of them actually last a decent amount of time. This one's not one of them but it does smell nice. Okay, next is Love Spell, and I also got the La Creme version. I had this one before, I have it in a body cream. My significant other loves the body cream when I wear it. Like, men just like these scents, I think, even though they don't wanna admit it. I like this one. I really like this one. This one's not quite as sweet and in your face as the Pure Seduction. Like this one's probably the most bold and strippery of all of them. They're just like, it's ba-bam. But this one is less ba-bam, a little bit more subtle, really, really pretty. But worse longevity. So it's got a little bit of like a woodiness about it, a little bit like creamy sweet. It has a very similar sweetness to the other two. Like that sweetness, it's in all these three. So all these three kind of like share a similar sweetness about them, but honestly the best performing one is Pure Seduction. It's the most sweet, it's the most bold. So if that's your vibe, then that. That's the one to go for. The Velvet Petals is the most subtle, I find. And the Love Spell, I like the smell of it the best, but the performance is a little bit lacking. So those are all the sweet ones. And then the last one is Amber Romance. I was intrigued by this one because of the amber note. I thought it'd be very warm and very cozy. And this one, I'll tell you guys right now, it is the least Victoria's Secret-esque of all of these. So this one, this one really doesn't smell like a Victoria's Secret fragrance. This one almost smells like old school. Like maybe if Victoria's Secret in the 90s came out with something. And it reminds me of an older perfume. It almost reminds me of hairspray. Like it kind of smells like hairspray. I don't really get amber with this. I don't really get a lot of warmth. It's um, It's not very good. Honestly, the body spray is not very good. It says deep amber sugar kisses and chasing sunsets. I'm not sure if those are notes. I don't think so, but it's not very sweet. It is very, very hairspray. So the fragrance that this kind of reminds me of is the diesel fragrance in the red bottle, like that kind of like hairspray vibe. I don't love it, but the performance is not bad. So I had worn this. It does kind of settle. There's like the synthetic thing that's in the beginning. It goes away and then it does settle. It gets a little bit creamier and it gets a little bit softer, but this is kind of old school smelling, like more classic smelling. So take that for what you will. And so I'll let you guys know now which my favorite ones are. So I'll give you my top three of the six. In terms of performance, I would say Pure Seduction is the best one. It is a good smelling fragrance. It is very like bold for a body spray. It's sweet, it's sexy, it is seductive, and it lasts, it actually lasts. It lasts a long time on clothing where a lot of them don't. This one does. Very flirty, very pretty, very exactly what you would think of Victoria's Secret, like walking into a Victoria's Secret store. This is basically it. So this one I think is the best one all around in terms of smell, in terms of performance, in terms of like on all fronts, this is the, the best one. Like if you wanna get noticed, this will be the one, the pure seduction. My personal favorite one in terms of smell is Love Spell. I like to layer this with the cream. I think it smells really good. It does smell kind of similar to the pure seduction, but a little bit softer, a little bit smoother and like just a step more sophisticated, just one step up. I like it a lot. It's a little bit less sweet. It's my vibe. So Love Spell is my personal favorite, but the performance is not as good. And then my next favorite is the Bare Vanilla. I think this is a really good vanilla fragrance. It's really budget, like really, really budget. I think you can get these. They're always on sale on the website for like 10, 15 bucks, always. 
and it's a very sexy smooth soft vanilla like it's it is a standard vanilla fragrance if you're a vanilla lover you are sure to enjoy this and you can like quickly spritz it throughout the day even if you're wearing a different vanilla fragrance I'm sure this will work as like a quick fresher upper so this is the other one and it, it does smell like very sensual soft smooth skin so I do like this and I was surprised that I liked it because I'm not a vanilla lover as you guys know so there you have it those are all of the victoria's secret body sprays comment down below guys let me know what your favorite victoria's secret body spray is and let me know if you want me to do a separate video on the limited edition ones that i got because i was like kind of sketched out about doing that because they're not available for sale at the moment but maybe they'll pop up again later so if you guys are interested in seeing that comment down below and let me know and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful Peppy is having a little nap here. I just noticed him. So I hope you enjoyed his little appearance as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. Bye.